Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Mike Pitt. I am the founder and CEO of Marketing Fundamentals Limited, a content marketing agency in London. This will be a fairly short video tutorial for Tweet Adder 4.1. Uh, it will be separated into four sections. The first section will be adding a, a Twitter account and setup, so basic functions. The second will be features and regular settings chosen by myself and, and my, my colleagues. The third section will be strategy and overview for using TweetAdder 4.1 as a marketing tool. And the final section will be weekly task breakdown. So hopefully you will find this very useful to you and you'll be able to use the software, follow the steps that I outline in this tutorial and use Twitter to maximum effect and give yourself more traction across the accounts and, and brands that you represent. Okay, first of all, I've slightly obscured uh, some of the client names and that's uh, I've just done that for their own uh, protection. Uh, clicked an overview if we want to manage users this would be we're going back to this sort of settings and setup section click on manage users I have as I say these I have set the screen to slightly obscure some of my client names and that's for obvious reasons um, if you want to add a new Twitter name you add them here and then you pick one of your subscription reference codes to allocate the user to one of those. Now I have two registration codes. I have a code that's for five users and I have an unlimited code. Uh, I have seven current users at the moment. So that's how you'd allocate. And you, then you get a, a reminder sending you, which would throw up a Twitter screen, which would say that TweetAdder is, you need to authorize the software to uh, access your Twitter account. Then you enter the Twitter account password and then you get the subscription code and you enter the, sub, the subscription code back uh, and just submit that back through tweet adder and then you're good to go your new account if you'd set up a new account would be added into this overview screen here so that's very quickly how you set up or you add another uh, user a twitter user to tweet adder the next step is to have a look at the um, features and settings so let's open a user and so that we don't um, demonstrate too much client information we're going to use my account which is the mic pit so the mic pit uh, and I will show you some of the settings first of all let's start at the top so we have settings settings I have time settings here so only run automated tasks between 7 a.m. and 10 o'clock it's good to set your uh, times of operation for regular daylight hours and don't be running all the way you know through the night uh, across time zones because you don't want to appear as if you're completely automated and you don't want to appear as if you're a bot nobody wants to be followed by a bot or to communicate with a bot you can change the updates, followers, etc. Uh, every 120 to 240 minutes is fine. I think that's a default. Uh, you can make that short if you like. And the same with uh, loading profile data. And uh, all of these settings are you can alter. Proxies, if you were to uh, have a large number of accounts, possibly 100 or 50, something like that, then perhaps you would want to use uh, proxies and you can buy those from uh, tweet adder and that allows you to give the impression that you're uh, using Twitter and the accounts are being monitored or, or being used from lots of different IP addresses all around different geographical regions so when you've got uh, a lots of accounts that may be something to explore but for people with perhaps less than 10 accounts or 10 to 20 or something it's not something that they need to worry about uh, straight away okay so that's settings um, now those of you who used 
tweet out a version three and version two, and I, I, I was one of those earlier users as well. There were some functions like mass follow and mass follow back that have been removed from from tweet out of four and a lot of that has to do with privacy issues and all of the preparations and changes that Twitter made in the run-up to their IPO and uh, so follow back and math follow are no longer functions that you can use on tweet adder which did change the game slightly a lot of internet marketeers and a lot of uh, people who had already used the software and had become familiar with it had amassed hundreds of thousands in some cases and tens of thousands of followers by mass following and following back etc so when you see twitter accounts obviously people like katie perry and, and justin bieber accepted when you see twitter accounts with hundreds of thousands of followers and they're not prominent people often this was during the time when tweet allowed you to follow back and mass follow literally hundreds and thousands of people um, some of the great functions and features to use now are things like tweet, tweet search. So if I wanted, I'm the Mike Pitt, my uh, target audience is professional services firms, but if I want to find business owners, I can type in my keyword there, business owners in, into quotation marks, and I can set the search location to, let's say, Hundred, um, and I should going to enter the location, my location as London. It's going to come up then with such a perfectionist putting an uppercase L in. I don't think I needed that, but uh, I will do. Uh, then London, Greater, Greater London. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to insert that. I'm going to say within thousand hundred. 100 miles. I'm sure there used to be a 1,000 miles option, but that's been cut down in the same way that mass follow has been removed. Uh, and then most recent, search. Right. Click search now. That's just working through, working through. It's searching through Twitter. And it's going to come up with a list of suggestions of people who are business owners. And this will be within a recent tweet that they've sent uh, and that's how it's uh, the search results will, will show at just a moment now as they come through right here they are so 78 suggestions of people I should follow uh, I can look at those and review those tweets and let's say creating brand awareness is that somebody I should be following is talk let's follow that person let's follow that person uh, and we're following these people purely and simply on the basis of their last tweet and that matching the keywords that I've selected so let's just follow right so we followed five people just for the, de the purpose of this tutorial so that's one way of, of finding new people to follow rather than laboriously trying to type that into the search uh, search box on Twitter, the Twitter um, app, and the, twi the, the Twitter um, uh, either phone or or desktop app. Uh, you can also do profile data search. So you can say, "Oh, right, I'm going to a conference in Oxford. I'll type in Oxford and business owner, and then I could find Oxford business owners and search, and in a similar way, uh, find relevant people to follow. So that's location or followers of a particular user." Uh, followed by a tickler user and then you type in the username there so I'm sure you you understand how that works let me just scroll down here to show you some other uh, functions uh, not following back I always think this is very useful so if I call it that screen these are people who are not following me uh, Twitter etiquette as many of you will know is basically if people do follow you and they're not uh, abusive, or, or and they have, um, you know, positive uh, tweets and communication and interactions with people. Then generally, the etiquette is for you to to follow them back, um, which is great. So, if people aren't following you back, you can look at their activity and uh, decide whether you're going to leave them a bit more time to follow back, or or, or you're going to do some, take some other action. One group of people it's very safe 
within a sort of communications and with a uh, Twitter etiquette uh, sense to uh, to act, take action against are those people who've unfollowed me. If somebody's unfollowed me, I'll click on here now. So we're still in the uh, manage users and we're still going through uh, my personal account settings. So it's not, not to compromise any client information. Uh, so these people who have unfollowed me, um, if so why did they have to be so rude? I will. I can click here and unfollow. And nobody's offended there, they've unfollowed me, I've unfollowed them, fine. The benefit of this is that we can clean up our Twitter account and not be bloated with lots of people we're following who aren't following back. Uh, and lots of people who are also, there's a couple more uh, categories here, so people who tweet too much, we can decide to unfollow them. I'm going to click out of that. People who are inactive, so let's just cancel that because it's, it's downloading quite a lot of profiles. People who are inactive, so that's a high ratio of people, so they're sending a lot of tweets, perhaps more than we'd like. Um, so we can have a look at their accounts and see, check the relevance against, for me, it was business owners. So we can check their relevance and then maybe remove those. Um, people who are in a different language that we can't understand, we maybe want to unfollow those. People who are inactive, maybe not tweeted for six months, they're not really helping the Twitter profile that we're building up for the client or for the, for the brand or for the individual. So perhaps we can take the, them out as well. So let's cancel that so we don't get wrapped up in, in doing that. So that's uh, a good way of keeping your Twitter account or the client's Twitter account very healthy. Scroll down a bit more and we can go to tweets. So in the tweets section, we can set up, and obviously I have set up many tweets and I've got over 206 tweets there. A lot of those are, are original blog posts on the Marketing Fundamentals website. There are also a few quotes in there, some videos from the YouTube channel. So they are set up as random and recurring. So there's, as I say, there's a bank of 206 quotes, uh, 206, excuse me, 206 tweets of which some are quotes, lots, most of them are, are blog posts. Uh, and we can, if we need to remove them, we can clear them, we can randomize them again. Uh, we can import one into this line here and then tweet straight away, so that all happens. Uh, and scrolling further down, another good setting to have. So another good setting to have is the message. So that we scroll, let's scroll down a bit more. You can just see here, and as I say, I've obscured slightly just a bit of that uh, uh, dashboard so that the uh, client names were at the top were obscured. Thank you message, click into the thank you message. So that's an automatic thank you message. When you've got as many Twitter followers as I have, uh, I think it's about 21, between 21 and 22,000, you don't want to individually thank them. So you can thank them with an automated message. And as long as it's, it's fairly uh, relevant to your audience and you are targeting a particular audience rather than just everybody, then people understand that that's uh, the efficient way of communicating with them. So those are some of the great uh, settings. Um, we're going to now quickly just, I want to summarize with a bit of an overview. So bear with me for one moment. The, uh, your goal using TweetAdder should be to run a healthy Twitter account. So you should be able to keep track of your followers and understand whether you're getting too many people that you're following who are not following back and then to remove them using some of the some of the uh, functionality that I mentioned earlier in terms of removing people who've unfollowed me, etc, etc. Uh, in addition to that, you should try and ensure that you uh, do not get sort of spammed with people who are uh, professional sort of Twitter sellers. Twitter follower, sellers, etc. Final section, weekly tasks. Each week you should be looking to remove people who have unfollowed you and to search against your keywords and then follow those people. Hopefully most of those will follow back and in that way you will um, grow your Twitter following with relevant people rather than uh, just random people. You should also remove the inactives. Thanks for watching, bye for now.